Have you ever wondered about the SWR on your handheld radios? Or maybe you've wondered how well the supplied antenna is performing? It's an interesting topic, and one that we often take for granted when using portable radios. Measuring the SWR and power output on a handheld can be tricky without the right gear, and even then you need to add various adapters to make things fit. That's where the Shorecom SW33 Plus comes into play. I own a large amount of handheld radios and antennas, so this little device is perfect for testing and measuring output power from these radios. It's specifically designed for handhelds, and has an SMA type connection at the top and bottom of the unit. It's small enough to fit in line with most radios, and simply screws direct into the antenna port. Most modern transceivers have the SMA male or female type fittings, so it's very easy to connect. The Shorecom SW33 Plus is a small meter with a tiny OLED display with a black background and white text. This is clear enough to read even though the display is very small. The unit feels very well made and has an all metal body. This replaces the older Shorecom SW33 that only had an LED display with more basic functions. It comes with a built in rechargeable battery and has a micro USB connection on the side of the unit. A short USB charging cable is supplied. It's a pity it's not the more modern type USB-C connector, as I could have just used my mobile phone cable to charge the unit, but I guess you can't have everything. When charging, a small LED light changes from red to green to indicate when the charge is completed. Mine didn't seem to take long to charge, but there is no indication on the display of the battery level, so you just need to guess. The SW33 Plus covers all the VHF and UHF frequencies. That's basically from 125MHz right through to 525MHz. I've seen reports that it can operate outside of this range, but the accuracy cannot be guaranteed. It's basically designed to cover the majority of the popular bands. In the UK, the meter is priced at around $36.99, which seems very reasonable. It may be available cheaper from places like AliExpress, but you'll have to wait a couple of weeks at least for delivery. So what's actually in the box? Well, you get a nice little instruction guide, one SW33 Plus test meter, an SMA male to SMA male adapter, an SMA male to female adapter, an SMA female to BNC adapter, and an SMA male to BNC male adapter. In addition to this, you also get a small 20 watt dummy load with an SMA connector, so you can take accurate power measurements. This is an excellent idea as you cannot accurately measure a radio's power by transmitting directly into an antenna due to possible mismatches. The little dummy load doesn't look like it could actually support a large amount of power for a long period of time, so perhaps best to be on the cautious side when testing. I don't have any handholds with a power level greater than 10 watts, so all should be good. As for the meter itself, the manufacturers state that it can handle up to 100 watts pass-through to an antenna. This is very useful, as it could be used for mobile radios with the correct adapters and a coaxial patch lead. Operating the SW33 Plus is really simple. There is no calibration required, just hold down the power button and switch on. There are five modes available, you can cycle through them by clicking the red button each time. The first mode displays SWR, forward power and reflected power. The second and third mode shows the same information but in a horizontal format, which could be useful if used on a bench with coaxial cable connected. The fourth mode shows the SWR only, but with a bar graph. And finally, the fifth mode shows forward power, again only with a bar graph. The first mode is the one that you are likely to use most of the time when doing a general check on a radio and antenna combination. Simply attach the meter in line with the handheld, and if necessary use the adapters supplied to make the connection to the antenna port. I found that the little gold SMA female to SMA male adapter was good for raising the height of the meter on some radios, so that it cleared the volume and VFO controls such as the one on the Anytone 878 that I used during my testing. Whilst pressing the PTT, the instructions state that you should hold the body of the SW33 Plus with one hand in order to get the most accurate SWR reading and give a fair comparison of the antenna. This is to provide adequate grounding. Once you've pressed the PTT, the display holds the information until you transmit again. This is very handy as you can grab the reading and then change the antenna for making comparisons. During my testing, I found some interesting facts about some antennas supplied with various handheld radios. Some were definitely better than others. In one case, I found that the antenna supplied with my Anytone 878 Plus had a possible fault. I had suspected this for a while since the radio didn't perform well with the stock antenna connected. It was showing an SWR ratio of 12 to 1, meaning that most of the power was being reflected back into the radio. I guess this means there is some kind of short inside the antenna, as it shouldn't have been that high under any circumstances. I also tested the accuracy of this meter against my other Shorecom SW102 power meter, and I also found that it was very similar when it came to power measurements, so this is a good thing to know, and it means that the meter is working effectively. 
In conclusion, this is an excellent piece of test kit to have in your collection, particularly if you're working with a lot of different handheld radios and want to experiment with all different types of antennas. Of course, you could just purchase an expensive antenna analyzer for much better results, but these can be very costly at VHF and UHF frequencies. For a quick check, the Shawcom SW33 Plus is ideal and something that will be staying in my toolkit for a long time to come. Hope you've enjoyed this little look at the meter, and if you've got one, let me know what you think of it in the comments. So that's it, till the next video, I'm going to say semi freeze and hopefully catch some of you guys on the air. Don't forget to check out our forums at transmission1.net. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.